Hi, my name is Jesus Medina, and in this video, I will show you how to create a receipt document using VS Script. To develop my customization, I did in the following way. In the bill of material definition, I create a button named Receipt One Unit. This button is reading some values from current window, and using the UR reservation object is creating a receipt. If I click on the button, you see that I show a message that the receipt is done. And if I click OK, then I see that the receipt is, is done and also is linked with the current work order position. If I open this window and I see the code that I develop, then I go to Tools, Extension for Clients. Then I see that the I create in the window event post open, I create a button with the standard BS script functionality. And in the click event of this button is where I have the logic to create the document. I First of all, I create an object named UR reservation uh, to check uh, all parameters and all available functionality that for this object, please refer to the our BS script documentation and you will find all parameters on all data you can assign to this object. Then, first, then after this, I create and, and I apply to this object that I am going to create a receipt. And then I start to add the information for, for the line, the, that information that I am going to create. With that line, I set the base dot type. I say that this is going to be linked with a work order. And if I set this one, then I link with the Belenar ID. This is the base doc entry. And then I read from the window the Belenar ID. Additionally, I also read the BEAS position. This is the Bell POS ID and also the POS ID of the material. Okay. With this information, additionally, I set the item code for the item that the, I am going to, to generate the receipt. And additionally, I set the warehouse. I read the warehouse from the window. And finally, I set the quantity. In this case, I, I am setting a hard code one. And at the end of the line, I can save the information of the line. After this, I call the function to create the document. And when the document is done, I can receive any, any error. Then I will write the code if I want to catch this error handling, or I simply show a message that the receipt is done. That's it. This is an easy way to generate a receipt document. You can also generate any other type of document like issues or transfer in the same way. Please refer to our documentation to, to, check, to check this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive videos like this. Thank you very much.